Hi everyone and welcome back to Chess for Charity. In this video, we're going to try a really unique puzzle where you have to find the value of A, B, C, D, and E on your screen to the right on a normal chess board. So all that's given to us is that this position was a real chess position and we're able to figure out the value of these pieces. So we're going to be able to place pieces on the board and figure out what goes where and which one corresponds to which letter. So let's get started here. So the first thing you should see is that you have C, D, E on the back rank here. C, D, E. We'll put them in different colors because they're different things. And there are only one of each of those letters, right? You have the A's, which is going to be a lot. There's seven A's. So here, and then these, and then a couple up here. So in chess, as I'm sure you know, you can only have one king for each side, which means that we know automatically the kings are either going to be the C's, D's, or E's. It can't be the A's, and it can't be the B's. So we don't know which color is which. We don't know where they go. But we also know the kings can't be checking one another, right? They can't be like on C1 and D1. That's not a legal configuration for kings. Which means, let's take the color off, we know one king is on C1, we know the other king is on E1. So we can already make that conclusion about the kings. Since we don't know the color yet, let's just put they're both black kings, just for the sake of having something on the board for now. Okay, so what else can we figure out? Well, let's look at the Bs here. So the Bs, we have seven Bs, so all of these. And then I believe it's right here. Yep. Now, what could these possibly be? That was a pun. Well, they can't be anything other than one particular piece. So let's ask ourselves, if these were all knights, let's just say white knights, for example, would this be a legal, legal position? Well, no, because we don't know which color square the king is on. We don't know, sorry, we don't know which color it is but either way you'd be checking this king multiple times and we know one of them is black so they can't be all knights right same idea goes to all bishops it can't be all bishops for the same reason sorry about that can't be bishops right so we can kind of go through this logic it's not going to be rooks for the same reason and it's not going to be queen and they're not going to be black pawns or anything either because it just doesn't work out that way so really everything else would be illegal except for white pawns that's kind of the easy part of the puzzle so let me try to see if i can clear these off first because it's not there it is okay so we're getting somewhere we have b equals white pawn great and of course the pawns are going this way because this is a1 so keep that in mind Okay, now we have to get into the more challenging pieces. We have the A's. So let's kind of talk about what the A's can be. Maybe before doing that, let's look at this one individual letter here. So we have the D right between C and E, right? So what do we put for D? Well, this is what you have to ask yourself. If this was a rook or a queen, that would be giving check to both things. So we can't be either color, a rook or a queen, right? Okay, so what about a bishop? Well, it can't possibly be a bishop because how would it ever get here? Because remember, these pawns are all going up the board. So that's not working out. So it can't be a bishop. It can't be a pawn, of course. It can't be a queen, a rook. That leaves me only with a knight. So we know it's a knight, but we don't know what color yet, right? See, I'm getting that? Okay, so we don't know the color. I, we can put a black knight, but we can put a white knight. It doesn't matter. We'll just, in our heads, remember that D equals knight. Okay, cool. So now let's talk about A's. So A, I'll put a little color on the board here. This one, if I can do it. And then this one, corner. Okay, so this A, what can we figure out about it? So there are seven of them on the board. That already gives me a huge hint. 
believe it or not, that alone tells me it's not going to be a white piece. And you might go, how is that, Frank? That doesn't make any sense. Well, let's just suppose it is. Let's say that these are all white knights or white bishops or white queens or white rooks. How could you possibly get seven of them? You might go, oh, well, you can just under-promote, right? Well, I already have seven pawns on the board. So I only have one more pawn that has the potential to under-promote to something, right? Which means that even if these were knights and I had all my knights in the position, the most I can do is get three of something. I can get three knights, you know, the two originals plus the under-promoted knight, or two bishops and then another bishop. Same idea for rooks and queens, right? So it turns out it's not a white piece because if it were, you need too many captures and too many under promotions. You can't do that. Okay, so it's a black piece. Great. Let's talk about what black piece. Well, it clearly can't be a pawn because there's one here in A1, so pawns can't get there. So we know it's not a pawn. What about a black bishop? Well, same idea as before. How does a bishop get to A1? You might wonder. Well, they can't. There's no way for it to get all the way through and then promote, right? So it can't be a pawn. Okay, let me change the color there. So what about a knight? Could it be a knight? Well, why not? Sure, it could, because if I had a knight here, it's checking both queen, both kings, but it seems like that's a fair position because we don't know which one is which, and this check is on one king, and this check is on two kings, if the knight is here, like that, right? So this, this knight, if it were here, let me just show this for example. If this was a knight, and this were a knight, it'd be checking this king once, checking this king twice, right? And that seems like a problem, but let's look, let's look at the, the other one. And we're saying black knight, by the way. Sorry about that. Something like this. We're asking ourselves, is this position possible? Well, we know one of these kings is white. But we don't know which one. So we can talk about that in a moment. Let's just make sure we rule out rooks and queens. So for the same idea that it couldn't be uh, a bishop, it's similar to why it can't be a queen. If it's a queen, let me try to clear the board here. Okie dokie, like that. If it were a queen, how would this work? We'd have seven queens on the board. Okay, but how does that work? Because right now we have six promotions are needed then, right? If you have six additional queens on the board, you need six promotions. But that's not going to make sense because we don't have enough captures to get those six promotions. You see what I'm saying? So we have seven pawns here, and we don't know the value of this quite yet, but we can already conclude that we cannot get black queens for all of these, these pieces. Okay, so let's clear out the queens. Same idea goes for the rook. It's not going to be a rook, because if it were a rook, you'd be checking like this, these kings, and they both can't be checked like that. Okay, so it has to be a knight, right? And I was kind of already showing that. Let's go back. But you might have a question already and go, hey, wait a second here. How can I have this many knights? I have seven knights on the board. Well, I have two knights from the original position, and then I just under-promote to these other ones. That seems fine, right? Nothing wrong with that. But I have to figure out now what is, what is kind of the consequence of this. So if these knights are... Our black knights, remember that this knight on d1 was a knight, so it must be a white knight, right? Okay, so then we have the position. Is this correct? Well, no, we have to figure out the color of the kings. So what is the answer to this? Well, this king is being checked twice, which means it has to be the same color as the knights. So this is the black king right here on e1, as I change it with the knight. On e1 is a black king, which that means that c1 is a white king. Now you might say to me, wait a second, it's being, it's being uh, checked. 
and it didn't have a last move because that square was also check. So if we look at it in a retro point of view, how would it work? Well, let's talk about it. So this is the answer, by the way. But the additional question of how did this position arise, that's the question you have to ask, ask yourself and answer. So, okay. So let's just say the last move in the position was check. And that's fine, right? Checkmate. But is that fine? Well, not really, because on this move, what would white do? White doesn't have a move. So really, you want to kind of go back in time further. So really, what you want is to think about a position where you have to back up so that the king can get checked and then move and then get checked again to arrive at this position. So what do I mean by that? So imagine you have a king and knights like this, right? Let's say the, the king is here, right? You kind of do a little triangulation here. So let's say the last move on the board was king b1. You'd have check and then king c1 and then check. Well, of course, that's not really mate because you could take it, but you get what I'm saying. So that's it. That's pretty much the position. You have to go two moves back to understand that you have to have that arriving this way. And you can always teeter your knight back and forth. You can always move your king back and forth to waste temp tempi to get these pieces lined up. But that's it. Check, move here, and check. And that is the position for each of the letters. This is the piece. So A is equal to a black knight. B is equal to a white pawn. C is equal to the white king. D is a white knight. E is a black king. And that is it. Isn't that a fun problem? It's something I've never seen before. Maybe you've seen it. I thought it was a lot of fun. But let me know. Did you get that? Do you were able to find the solution, figure it out? It's a very peculiar looking position, but that's all kind of part of the fun. But yeah, that's it for the video. If you enjoyed the content, be sure to like and subscribe. Remember that half of my income goes directly to charity. So making videos like this is really just for charity and the community. So a simple subscription helps me out so much. Thanks so much. Bye.